Happy birthday to me. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to me. Cha cha cha. Me eche un pinche pedo porque tengo el culo flojo. Happy birthday to you. You. Oh, to me. I was thinking. You know what? I'm always like talking, but I'm thinking about the next fucking subject. Like my brain cannot just stay in one fucking row. Like, bitch, you're in line right here. Why are you going like jumping over here? And that's what I do even when I go in line, like to the stove. Este, like you, I'm in line one, and the, but I'm looking at line five. So then I go in line five, but I'm like, look, line three looks good. So I do that a lot. And instead of getting to where I'm supposed to get, like out of the fucking store, I ando diciendo some pendeja. But anyways, anyways, it's my motherfucking birthday, December 3rd, 1986. What the fuck is going on on my 86 babies, on my 90s babies? Um, You guys know what the fuck I'm talking about? We grew up in a time that was fucking beautiful, bro. I wouldn't change it for the world. You know what I'm saying? We, um... We grew up in a time when when after school you would call your friend and fucking talk for like three, four hours, just living your life because your mom wouldn't let you go outside. And then um, finally when she let you go outside, you would meet up, talk about your outfits, go to the fucking pool in the summer, go to the pool every day until you were dark as fuck. Woo! In a beautiful ass time. And we went from fucking... These cell phones, we have these cell phones. I, I, well, I, these cell phones, these phones, when you go like this, you go one, chuk, 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 and then two, chuk, 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 chuk. to the um, other phones with the long ass cord, when you're talking to, to you know, your little hookup, and then your mom gets the other phone and she's like, ¿Qué estás haciendo, hija, tu pinche madre? ¿Con quién estás hablando? And then um, we went to the cordless, we went to the caller ID. We went to the Star 69. Then we went to the fucking Nokia phone, cell phones, to the smartphones. Now to these fucking phones. Like, I fucking love growing up in, where I grew up in the 90s. I fucking love it. And now these fucking chamacos fucking making TikToks. Like, oh my God, it's such a, tienen una pinche word, aesthetic. It's such a aesthetic. <laughs> but anyways, what's up everybody? What the fuck is going on? Welcome back. To cooking with Bird Martinez, the one, the only, Bird motherfucking Dines, bitch. Say it louder for the bitches in the back, all the bitches in the back, all the fucking puta sucias in the way back, all the motherfucking puta sucias in the way back, 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 back motherfuckers. I don't know why I'm like a little shaky. Like como shaky my voice. I don't know it's because I'm excited. <sighs> Calm down. Calm the fuck down. So you know, like I do like breathing things because ever since I got my physical therapy and my fucking she said a name, but I I don't know. She said Oriental therapy. But then I said it in front of Mandy and she said or orient alternative or oriental therapy. That's what she fucking told me. But then I said it to Mandy and she told me that Oriental's racist. You know, everything is fucking, everything gave, everybody gets a fucking offended, bruh. That's what the fucking, the, the lady that, that gave me the therapy, that's what she said it was. So anyways, she told me that, that breathing, right? Breathing, H2O, or is that how you call it? That's water. What the fuck is the one for the, for the breathing? You know, the fucking air. Anyways, when you breathe, you're supposed to. Inhale with your nose, right? That's how I fucking relax and I start my, my physical therapy. So you go, when you go in, you go, but you have to stick this bitch out. Like, stick it out, right? This. And then hold it, one, two, three, four, five. And then when you let it out, you're supposed to suck in your stomach. You're supposed to do that like 10 times in shit. And that's how you start your, like, you're supposed to get, like, the, I don't know, I don't think it's H2O. H2O is for fucking water. So that's how you start your fucking engines going. So anyways, but I also do that to calm down. 
So when I started talking, I felt all fucking shaky, 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 shaky. And right now that I even look one fucking breath and I feel calmer. Like, I'm at the pinche bird. Like, what the fuck is going on? So anyways, it's my motherfucking birthday. And all I want, like every motherfucking year, like I always tell Mario, I'm going to take a badass bad selfie. I want to see my mama. And I want to spend time with my family. I do not care about fucking gifts. I really have everything I have. And it's not because, oh my gosh, you died and you came back. No, bitch. It's, I always been like, I mean, everybody likes it, something nice. But what I like is fucking hoodie sweats and shoes. And this is the first time in two years. In two years that I've been home and I woke up home and I feel like, yes, bitch, I'm finally here. So when I turned 34, I was in a hospital with going through all that bullshit. And when I turned 35, I was in a concrete home. So now I'm, gonna, I'm 36 and I'm home and I feel good in the motherfucking neighborhood and everything's okay. Yeah, time to keep it pushing, keep it going. So anyways, I filled out my paperwork for my, not my paperwork. I typed in my paperwork for my disability. I'm not sure if I told you guys in the last video. So I have to read all my medical records. And I didn't really want to, but you know, when you go to the hospital, they tell you one thing, but when you read your medical records, you really see fucking everything that happened. And I was reading it, and this motherfucker, when, well, when I got to the hospital, it said that they had hit my jugular vein. I was fucking shocked, because this whole time, I always thought that my brother-in-law tried to paralyze me, and that he learned how to paralyze people in jail. Woop -de -woop -woop. And I, I know that's like, Bitch, he tried to kill you. Bitch, he tried to kill you. But it didn't become real until I saw that. I saw that fucking, like, um, that, those words right there. And I'm like, this motherfucker hit my jugular vein. And it hurt. And the reason it hurt is not because so much because of me. It hurt because he really wanted to take away the mother of his nephew, of his, of his nephew and his niece. Like, being chipped. Pito runs you, hijo de tu puta madre. But anyways, keeps fucking with me, keeps fucking with me. But I'll, it keeps fucking with me at the same time. But at the same time, I'm kind of like over it. And I feel like the more I talk about it, the better. But anyways, my my Sofia La Tortilla, she's the one that's the most affected. Um, like I told you guys last time, she's like um, she became stutter. She started stuttering a lot after everything happened. And sometimes she can't even finish one sentence. So I took her and they did like an assessment for like six fucking hours. And they told her, they told me that they can't give her speech therapy until they get to the to the problem, the core of the problem. And everything's like stuck here. First of all, the lady told me that she was really nervous, that she didn't really want to talk, that she answered yes, no. And you guys know my fucking Sophia. She don't like nobody. But like, she like... At the same time, she likes me, and I feel like lately, she's been like pushing me away, but she got a little better. But, so we got the dog, we got Gato. She really loves Gato. She loves animals more than she loves people. What the fuck is going on there? But I guess I understand her. Another thing that happened was that, so Mandy's playing soccer now, and I'm really proud of her because she is like sticking to it. Like, she comes home and her legs are all sore. And she's like, fuck, like, I don't know. It's like a lot of practice, a lot of stuff. And they make fun of her because these girls have been playing soccer for, like, all their lives. But they're bitches. Because, you know, man, these are little fresa, a little mamona, you know? And they're like, no, you have to be more rough. You have to be this and you have to be that. And she goes with her eyelashes and her ponytail. But... What really fucked with me was that um, she came one day and she told me that they told everybody to to kick the ball and make the goal. And all the people that missed the goal had to go to the left and the ones that made the goal had to go to the right. So the ones that missed the goal had to get on the net, you know, on the fucking thing. And um, on the goalie, as I was, how you call it? Se tenía que parar ahí. And then they, she told them to bend over, stick their butt out all the way out, and they were gonna kick the ball between their legs. No, 
be, um, between their legs or on their butt. They were kicking them in the butt. But what I don't like is how much they sexualize them. Like, that's fucking sexual, bro. Why you guys gotta bend over like that? These girls are wearing little shorts. So, of course, my beautiful Mandy, she fucking said, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's harassment. I'm not gonna do that. And then the coach like, no, yes, you are gonna do it. And every other, other girls just, like, were quiet. And... I just feel like it's too much, you know? I know if it was a man coach, it would have been like a whole fucking thing, you know? There's certain things that you don't cross. It's not like I get offended for everything, tampoco. And I'm not really familiar with the soccer shit, but I, don't, I, did, I really didn't like that. So I went to the, to the school, and I'm gonna have like a meeting with them on Wednesday, on Wednesday. So let's see how that goes. And they said the fucking, um, principal said, okay, that's how they play. No mames, a ver, pinche pendeja estúpida, cara de pinche culo. Let me bend you over, a ver como te gusta, babosa. So anyways, let's do this damn thing. So today on my birthday, I'm gonna make myself some menudo because I've been craving it. I fucking love menudo, menudo's fucking life. For those of you that don't know, menudo um, is supposed to be like a Sunday thing. Um, it's supposed to uh, fix when you have a hangover, la cruda, especially, especially right now when it's cold, is the motherfucking best. Un platito de, de pinche, ¿cómo se llama? Menudo. Will go a long way. It will, um, ¿cómo se dice? Warm up your soul. You don't have to make it super hot, you know. You could make it like a little hot or you could just make it regular and then add the chiles after. That's what I like to do. So anyways, bitch, it's my motherfucking birthday, birthday, it's my motherfucking birthday, birthday. Okay, motherfucker, so for this receta, we are going to use chiles, guajillos, actually, these are chiles California, and you can't even tell the difference. To me, the only difference is chile California is a little bit more mild, chile guajillo, it's like a little bit more spicy, but anyways. If you want it more spicy, you could always uh, use chile de árbol. Chile de árbol is para que pique el culo. Like, for real, for real. Look at me. I'm just, like, so excited about my hand. I'm just pointing at everything like, yeah, look at that. And then look at that. And look at all of that. And all of that. Okay, we're also going to use some oregano. Of course, my little horse, we're going to use some onion. Some garlic for that ass. We're gonna use black pepper. We're gonna use cumin. We're gonna use salt, laurel leaves, clavos. Y aquí están los granitos. This is optional. You could buy the big ass can of, como se dice, hominy, or you could buy these and boil them too. You could do what fuck you want. I kinda like these more. Because the ones in the can, they're so bland. Like, bro, what happened? I remember when I was little, they were more tasty. Or maybe I was just more hungry. I don't know. I don't really know no more. And the secreto, the key for a good-ass menudo. And this is what my mama told me when I told her, Mom, I'm going to make menudo. And she's like, you have that pasote. Is that pasote. You cannot have a good-ass menudo without the pasote. I'm fucking telling you, I promise you, I know it's just a freaking herb, but bitch, let me tell you, I don't know what it is, but anyways, es el pasote, como se llama en inglés, seed worm, I looked it up, I googled it, like I've used this before in my recipes, but it doesn't say, the best pasote is the one that has a smelly smell smell, so this, I got this one, and it's it's okay, but it doesn't have that shape that I'm looking for. The shape that I'm looking for is this. This is even too big, because I usually have a plant right outside the house, like in the front, and this is more of the shape. And I could, I could smell that shit. Like it smells like a pasote. A pasote también es for the chilaquiles, all that good motherfucking shit. It's good for the salt. See, I could smell it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It smells like. It smells like home, like growing up. Okay, so the main ingredients for menudo, of course, is the tripe. I'm telling you, menudo is not for everybody. Some people think, ew, what the fuck is that? It's so slimy. It's gross. I don't want that shit around me. Take it away. It's fucking intestines. 
But these intestines are fucking bomb. So anyways, they're cow intestines. So I got four pounds of beef. What the come se llama? It's just called beef tripe. That's just what it's called. And it's usually like the one that's all long. It's like the skin. I don't know, but Pinches Cows has a gang of stomachs. So it's not like, I don't know what part of the stomach it's coming from. If you don't think about it, it's even more better. If you think about it, you're just like, fuck, what kind of animals are we? But this is what we are. This is what we turned into. This is the honeycomb tripe. This is my favorite. I remember, no, my favorite one is the one that looks like a little book. It's like a tripe and it has like little layers. But I haven't, I don't know, I don't see that at the stove. So I don't know, no more. So this is the honeycomb one, obviously, because it looks like honeycomb. And then this one is the one, it's like the mix and it's already cut up. If you want to bust a quickie, you could buy this one because it's already cut up for you. You just wash it, boom, 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 bam, bam, bam. Thank you, motherfucking ma'am. And then this one is the feet. And this one's for the flavor. You know, first we're going to wash this shit because it's fucking intestines and tripas and pinche whatever. Okay, so the first thing we're going to clean is the patas. So this is what the patas look like. So you could ask for it with the uña or without the uña. I know some people are like, ew, I don't want to eat the leg or the foot. This is not the leg, this is the foot. And as you can see, it has, has the tendons and the bones and all of that. Or you could just ask for a regular, you know, which is like this. It still has the tendons and the bones. I only got three because I'm not a big fan of the pata, but I do know that you do need it to make a bomb ass menudo because you know the flavor. Everybody knows that the flavor is in the foot. So we're gonna wash it, we're gonna clean it, we're gonna try to take off a lot of the blood that's like left out. I got some vinegar. So we're gonna leave it in vinegar for a little bit with the water. So if you're not used to this, this might look a little scary. This is a cow's foot or nail or whatever. I like to cut it in half because, you know, you don't want a big old fucking pata in your face. My uncle used to be like, oh, they're patas de elefante. But anyways, just split the tendons. As you can see, it's easy peasy. Mac and motherfucking cheesy. Voila! Valeo madre, motherfuckers. So I'm recording with my favorite tripod, right? It's like little, it's perfect. It's fucking like I could hold it. Anyways, it doesn't matter. And I dropped it one time. It was falling and it was slipping and I caught it. But then I couldn't catch it again. Valeo madre se cayó. And now one of the pinches patas, it's like doing the splits. And it's supposed to stand like this, right? Like, and this bitch is like, but the other one's like really doing the splits. So anyway, let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it going. So this is the menuda, the actual intestines. And we're going to do um, the same process. We're going to put water and we're going to put some vinegar. And you could leave it there for a little bit longer. Because nobody, nobody likes a smelly menudo. And trust me, I have had mine. Because sometimes, you know, you have like fresh, like fresh, fresh cow intestines or whatever, like in Mexico is more common. But no, not, I guess we're not in Mexico, bitch. But anyways, um, good menudo shouldn't smell. And also another thing, if you're going to make menudo, like buy your shit a day before. Like, you know, you're going to be like, okay, I'm buying my shit a day before and then make it. The fresher, the better. Or go kill a motherfucking cow. And then take out the intestines and do your bathroom. Vamos a lavar este Ya valió madre, motherfuckers. So I'm recording with my favorite tripod, right? It's like little, it's perfect. It's fucking like I could hold it. Anyways, it doesn't matter. And I dropped it one time. It was falling and it was slipping and I caught it, but then I couldn't catch it again. Valeo madre se cayó and now one of the pinches patas, it's like doing the splits. And it's supposed to stand like this, right? Like, Err! and this bitch is like, Err! Err! but the other one's like, really doing the splits. So anyway, let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it going. 
So this is the menudo, the actual intestines, and we're gonna do um, the same process. We're gonna put water and we're gonna put some vinegar. And you could leave it there for a little bit longer because nobody, nobody likes a smelly menudo. And trust me, I have had mine. Because sometimes, you know, you have like fresh, like fresh, fresh cow intestines or whatever, like in Mexico is more common. But no, not, I guess we're not in Mexico, bitch. But anyways, um, good menudo shouldn't smell. And also another thing, if you're gonna make menudo, like buy your shit a day before. Also another trick for a menudo that I have learned. And I'm pinche moco y no me dice nada, hijos de su madre. So anyways, try to get the like whiter one. Because I know it's like, oh, what's all the same shit? But I don't know. Cuando está poquito más yellow, I feel like it's a little bit older. I don't know. It's motherfucking science. Ask people, ask somebody. If somebody fucking tell me. So anyways, um, a lot of these pieces also have some fat or whatever. Let me show you a fat one. This white stuff. If you want to take it off, take it off. I mean, you could leave a little bit on. It's not a big deal. So I noticed that the like whiter one. No huele. I mean, it smells like menudo, but it doesn't smell. I'm already like a big thing with smelly smell smells. But I'm telling you, one time when I was younger, we went to Tijuana to buy a, como se dice, to buy menudo. And I was so excited because we were going to go to Tijuana and I was going to have real Mexican menudo because I'm a certified ass Mexican. <laughs> so we get the, I get the big... It's like the official Mexican plate, like the barro de Mexico, like the plate with a menudo, right? But it's like little ass pieces and I'm not about to take a fucking bite. And I just, it smells like bad, bad breath <sighs> with some ass and shit. I, I don't know, I don't know, but I know it's because I don't want to wipe it. And it's not like ugly boogers. It's like... Like cute boogers. I mean, I'd rather have these boogers than green fucking ugly ass boogers. And that, that I had the big ugly boogers. So, anyways, yeah, and I got scarred. I couldn't eat menudo for like freaking five years because that shit was fucking nasty. So, anyways, that's why I'm a big, you know, like a smelly smell. So, I'm out, get your fucking vinegar, get your water. You could put lemon, just water. Bye bye. Okay, motherfuckers, so I'm going to use the big-ass pot. This is what I took out because I was going to use my Texas pot that's over there. Pero, I don't know, you need space or whatever to, like, do this damn thing. If it's all squished in there, it's not going to work. You need space space. So I put it to seven, and then I put the patas only because the patas need to go in a little earlier. Por qué? Because they're patas, they're bone, they're tendons. See the tendons inside? They take like a longer time to cook. Longer than the intestines. Um, anyways, we're going to put salt, laurel leaves, garlic, and onion. I put it all together like this so I could just grab it and throw it because I can't do both shits, record and fucking do the same thing. But anyways, in the background, you, you hear it. Pee-wee's Big Adventure, my favorite movie growing up. One of my favorite movies growing up. I'll tell you guys the story behind it right now. You guys know my ass little to talk. I'm just trying to get situated. Oh, 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 look at me holding it. I'm actually doing both. <gasps> oh, my life. It's a little bell, otra vez. Ahí está. Colo flojo, culo flojo. Pinche sal porque no salió bien en la chingada. Ahí está. ¡Woo! You ever love somebody so much it makes you cry. Have you ever been so happy que se te afloja el culo? Have you ever? I said, have you ever? So, big deal. I know you're like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares about him. Well, you know what? My real ass bitches of the motherfucking world care. And the one or two bitches that are here just for the fucking cheese man, go tell the motherfucking cheese man 
to whoever is it. Yeah, that bitch kept talking about her hand. Like, uh, 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 uh. Anyways. So, I swear I couldn't even pick up nothing with this hand. When I say nothing, like, I couldn't pick up nothing. I was like, mm. so, right? So, I picked up the tripod, which is kind of heavy. All right, let me, let me try to get an example. I picked it up, right? And I don't just pick up stuff normally. Pick it up like this. Mira. Ah, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on. I was so like holding it like this, and then with the tablita going like this, so recording at the same time. A ver. Come on. I feel like SpongeBob when he's lifting the damn balloons. Ah. Come on, no, see, sí, wait, see. Sí. Now, now I could lift them more. See, it just goes down for no reason. I'm gonna do the. Anyways, we were watching um, we we're watching Pee Wee Herman, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Growing up, so Mario lived in little TJ. There's like um, our our favorite taco place, our old favorite taco place. And as a little kid, he used to go to pick, uh, to rent movies at that Mexican spot. And we used to go there every Sunday. I don't know. So as little kids, maybe we saw each other like little cuties. Anyways, um, I would always rent every other every Sunday. One Sunday I would rent Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and then the next Sunday I would rent um, Gloria Trevi, Zapatos Viejos. So I think I'm a perfect mix mixture of Gloria Trevi, Pee and Pee Wee Herman with a little motherfucking me. I don't know, but like, a lot of my jokes, a lot of my humor comes from that. I don't know if you guys could understand that, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited because um, Little Mario's watching it and I always wanted him to see it. Cause to me, the little machine at the beginning that made the pancake and all that, like I wanted that. That was like my dream to make one of those. And I mean, it doesn't look as cool as like now kids have so much shit to choose from. But back in the Disney, bro, like things like that were like super cool. I didn't talk like that, but fucking awesome. Anyways, ahorita voy a cortar el resto de menudo and I'll do this. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut this, um, como se dice, intestine. This is my favorite part of the menudo. I know it looks a little like, but I like the part where it's like thick like this. It's like less gooey and harder. I don't know. Como que me gusta, but it is a little harder to cut. So a lot of people cut it differently. Some people cut it smaller. Some people cut it a little bigger. I like to cut mine like medium. Like let's say like this. I think that's medium. Anyways, you'll buy like, let's say five pounds of menudo, and then at the end, you only get like two. I remember my first time I bought menudo, I was all excited. I got like two pounds. I was like, balling. Mi madres. When I made it, it was like, like 10 little pieces. I was like, what the hell is this? So anyways, make sure to like, yeah. All you my veteranas, you guys know what the fuck is going on. You guys know, you guys fucking do men make menudo in your motherfucking sleep. But me and Sophia, we're gonna have a face. So it took me a while and a half, but this is what it looks like. Damn, not too little, not too big, just perfecto the way I like it. I know bitches be like, oh my God, I like it so big. If it's not big, I don't want it. Like pinches viejas golosas, how big is your motherfucking vagina that you need it so motherfucking big? If it's not nine inches, I don't, don't fuck with me. Like, bro. But anyways, I think that size does matter, but not always. I mean, I think the only bad thing about when size gets affected is certain positions. But like, tampoco te puedes estar teeny, weeny, shrimp, limp, short, short, man. Porque también no mames, you know? But anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the damn menudo being too little or too big. So anyways, these are the... How many granitos, however you want to call it. A lot of people take a lot of time and they take off these little, the pitos right here. You this little thing. But I don't feel like it's a big deal. I mean, I just leave it on. 
You'll take like a fucking hour and a half taking that shit off. And I don't think it's fucking poisonous, so calm the fuck down. Anyway, we're gonna clean them. And then we're gonna boil them. Until they pop up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna boil them. You know what I'm saying? I saw. I saw. I love this fucking thing. I fucking love it. Because you could put it like that. You know, and it has a big ass handle. I could cook with any big ass handle. That's what I need. A big ass fucking handle so I don't get burnt. Okay, when I have a little handle, I'm always doing it. Like so we're gonna like, keep that bitch there. And then. We're gonna mix that bitch. Make sure it's nice and juicy like my motherfucking pussy. Juicy like my motherfucking pussy. Oh my gosh. So I need to have a kid soon because you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be 36 and I'm gonna, you know, hit something something. And I know there's more high risk when you get older. So anyways, the key, well the key to a badass fucking menudo, like, um, according to me and according to motherfucking science, to a bunch of studies is a pasote, right? I said that, but also, there is nothing like a beautiful red ass fucking um como se dice menudo. I when I every time I eat menudo somewhere, if it ain't red, it don't get no head. No, I'm just kidding. If it ain't no red, they ain't go I ain't going ahead. Well, I will eat it because I'm not gonna be rude, because sometimes it comes out orangey. So but the redder the better because it looks like flavorful and i've 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 even had menudo where they just put like a tint of chili and it was at a taco place and i was like what the fuck and then the fucking meat was all hard or the intestines was all hard and i was like this is some fucking bullshit bro why is it so fucking stupid so anyways so i'm getting a lot of um chile california but also i'm gonna use chile guajillo because chile guajillo is a little bit more intense. Chile California is flavorful. So imagine the combination together is like yin and motherfucking yang. Like, bitch, it's gonna be on and popping. So yeah, anyways. Um, you guys know I always wanted to have a kid. I was always so excited that I'm gonna have a kid when Mandy turns 18. Woo -woo -woo, it's on and popping, let's do this. But then, you know, this shit happened. So then, there was a time where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have a kid, I don't fucking care. Anyways, I don't feel half of my body, so it's not gonna hurt that much. But then I felt bad, because I was like, bitch, I can't even take care of myself. How am I gonna take care of a baby? But as I'm getting stronger, I'm more like, you know what, I could have a baby. I do wanna have a baby. It's not that I wanna have like all these kids and shit. Like I really, I feel like our fam, I feel like our family's complete, but I feel like there could be another one. Another one. And I know that would make Mario happy because he's always wanted to have four kids. And I've always wanted to have four kids. We always wanted to be like that couple that's like in their like their older couple. And they're having, um, they have a little baby. Those people look so cute. You know what I'm saying? You see them? Because I always have this image in my head. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. This is a mission and a half for me. Por qué? Por qué se fue y por qué murió? Porque el Señor me la quitó. Na 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 mi amor. Wow, wow, ah 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 ah. Anyway, I put the fucking knife. A la merga. A la merga. And then you split the thing. But you know what? My hand is getting fucking stronger. So they can suck a fucking dick. And there, this one's clean. Why do people say it's clean like a whistle? So a whistle always supposed to be clean? I see some dirty ass whistles. And then you go like this. And see? See, it's not even that hard. I'm just tripping. I'm tripping. I'm like with a pinche pedo. Me hago así la pinche víctima. Oh my god, I'm disabled. Look at me. Look how hard I have to work for this shit. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Calm down. You're not the only fucking disabled person in the world. Pick up the little tail. And then you, I, you 
and then like rip it you could rip it right yeah. just start with another one yeah. you rip it and then you take out the seeds from the inside yeah. because if, if if you don't take out the seeds people are gonna get sick because they get stuck they get stuck in your stomach you know what i'm saying it's so funny because whenever i talk to little mario and then i tell him you know what i'm saying he's like yeah i know what you're saying but anyway, little Mario, what happened this week? You got in trouble? Huh? You got in trouble? No. Yes, you did. You got grounded. No. Yes, remember? You got in trouble for a week. No iPad? Um, um, you told me yes, Apple. No, I said no iPad for a week. Remember when your puppy talked to you and they told you no iPad for a week? No. What happened? What did you do? Hmm? I think we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. To take people in, in this fair. Yeah. Yeah, they do it. No? I think trouble. Yeah, you, you'll get in trouble. Yeah, I know what Bobby said. Yeah, I know you don't. You're, no, now you know that. Well, we always told you that it's a bad word. And I never say it in front Come of me. Mm hmm. You put this here? Yeah, but once all the seeds are out. Why is it white? Why did they take all all them off? He he did wrong it. Oh, I did it wrong. Oh man, silly me. I'm over here trying to teach you something and I did it wrong. So, anyways, remember I told you you couldn't say that word and Mandy showed you a bunch of videos that you can't say that word because it's a bad bad word. But you were just trying to be cool, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to. I told my best to be a dipper in the car. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay because you live and you learn, you know. You're just like, um, ¿cómo se llama? Semillas or whatever. Pero, it's all good. Porque we're going to blend them. We're going to moler them real good. But before that, we put them in the comal. And we're going to move them. Remember, don't get all fucking crazy. Don't put the damn, este, ¿cómo se dice? The lumbre all fucking the chiles and aguita. You could live for like a long ass time. The longer, the better. Like fucking 10, 20, 30 minutes or whatever. We're gonna blend it with salt. It's the black pepper, like the bolitas, cumin, onion, garlic, and two clavos. Let's do it. Okay, so I put the onion, I put some salt. Salt, that's your guys' shit. Cumin, like, you know, I love cumin. So I put like, like that much, maybe like 56 of them. And then, la chingadera esta, the black pepper, like, eight of them, nine, ten, eleven, I don't fucking know, I don't measure shit. I can't, I can't measure, and cloves, that's the one I'm careful with, because cloves will take over that motherfucker. So, mira la mamada, la pinche mamada, oh, pues está cerrado, pues como vamos a hacer esta madre. So, like, esa si no me la voy a poner como opción. Because, um, yeah, that shit will take over. Did you know if, you get, if your tooth is hurting, you get a clove and you crack it, and then you put it where the tooth is hurting, like in the gum or wherever the fuck it's hurting, the pain will go away. Also, if you put, if you put like hot ass water with salt, and you gargle it, is that how you say, like gargolea? Yeah, you gargle it like three, four times, the tooth pain will go away. Not forever. I mean, you still have to fucking go to the dentist. Yeah, fucking dentist suck ass. Okay, now we're gonna blend this bitch. Turn it on. And we're gonna blend it for like a good five minutes. Moment. So now that everything's ready. So this, I cooked it for like 25 minutos. Like I said, you could take off them shit. And then we're gonna throw the corn up in this bitch. By the way, my Sofiita is helping me record. I got corn. So some places in Mexico, they don't put hominy in there. Some places in Mexico do. I don't know, I like my shit with the corn, the hominy. Huh, Yeah. That's the best part. A, a menudo con hominy, todo rojito, todo delicioso. Mm -mm -mm. Make you want to slap your mom. Fuck. And it smells even better with all the spices in there. Sofia. Yes. So you know how they made menudo? So menudo is from Spain. 
So that's what they said they invented it at. And then um, when the Spaniards came to came to Mexico, the carniceros, the meat people, the meat hunter, the meat guy, the meat guy, he refused to sell um, regular meat to the natives. He would only sell them intestines. And then the natives were like, fuck, well, you're not gonna sell it. We're gonna make some shit up. Oh, we're gonna, so they probably made my noodle like 10 times better. And then um, one day, one of the maids or the native people, they went to buy, um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water. Okay. Went to buy intestines. And the meat guy was like, why do you want intestines for? And the girl's like, oh, be she's like, because I'm gonna make menudo. And then they're like, oh, menudo is fucking bomb, menudo. Even the fucking, the Spaniards asked the natives to like, or the Mexicans to make menudo because it became like a good thing. And menudo is good for like the crew. I already said that, but yeah. And then guess what? The carnicero, the meat guy, instead of like being like, okay, here's your intestines. He upped the price in the intestines too. Pinche mamon. Okay, we're gonna put this. Here we go, yo. And then we're gonna mix it. Okay. Careful, so here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna let it boil a little bit more. More, more, more. And then this is my favorite part, the last part. Me and Sofia, we like our oregano. So much that I added before and I added after. Huh, Sophia? Yeah. We love oregano on everything. You and Sophia are foodies. Okay, so go like this. So you know the the smelly smell smell could open up. And there we go. And then we're gonna add the epazote. I'm gonna use all of it. That's the good stuff, Sophia. Then back up. Back it up, back it up. You're a real cameraman, Sophia. Thank you. A real camera girl. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro. And this, this, these two things is the flavor. I mean, some people put yerba buena or whatever, but you know, after a lot of scientific work, this is the secret. I think you guys are gonna love it. So now we're just gonna let a little boy a little bit more while we cut the onion, cut the cilantro, Cook that tortilla and let's eat Sofia. That fucking rhyme, bro. Yeah. So while that shit is getting done, getting nice and sexy, I'm gonna cut up some onion. Ahí anda el pinche Mario. Ahora sí, el Mario es hombre. He takes out the trash. He's like, can you believe you use one bag of trash a day? And I'm like, bro, that's how it's been for years. But es que el muchacho pues no sabía. I'm so happy because Mario got this stupid ass trash can that's fucking stupid and I hate it. It was oval and it was fancy. Why the fuck do you pay like 50, 70 bucks for a fucking trash can? I do not understand. It's a fucking trash can. Anyways, I got my fucking bucket because the bucket, I could move it wherever I'm going, like in the kitchen, and I could just go like that. And the other fucking stupid trash can, it was all oval, nothing fucking fit. And then, um, what else was it? It was heavy as fuck. It had like the plastic inside and then the fucking other thing on the outside. It was just stupid. Like why pay for a trash can? It's a trash can. Stems, and I'm just gonna cut the cilantro. I know people are used, you're supposed to use like the real cilantro, but I really like the stems and I never tried it like this. Like just the stems and a little bit of cilantro. So I'm gonna try it for the first time and I'll let you guys know. Porque ahí tengo pinche cilantro, ay, 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 pero, pero a mí me gusta esta parte. I don't know. Anyways, Mario. Mario. Yeah. So, ¿tú quién crees que va a ganar el mundial? Oh, este, Francia o Brasil. If, if you could have anybody to win it, Francia o Brasil, who would you want? To... Brasil. Brazil? Yeah. Why? Because they're Latinos or uh -huh. Hispanos? Yeah, they're from South America, no Latinos. No, they're Hispanic because Tinchita says that. Oh, they're Hispanic don't... because you talk Spanish. So what the fuck? Latinos, no? I think, no, she told me the other way around. Oh. Mandy! Brazilian people are Hispanic or Latino? I don't 
Mandy, Brazilian people are Hispanic or Latino? Brazilian people are Hispanic or Latino? They're Hispanic. See, I got oh. it right. Well, no, we don't say Chinese. Oh. Brazilian people are not Hispanic. They're only Latino. See? They live in Latino America, but they don't speak Spanish. See, I got it right. Fucking everything. I fucking... Okay, thank you, Mandy, for all the information. Mm -hmm. Super helpful. Fucking... Oh, my God. Go like this, because it's... Fair one. You're the one that's making me cut it. Here. You're, you're like, you're not a real ass bitch, you fake ass bitch. I didn't see that. Yeah, that's what you meant. No, yeah, yeah. Eh, se mira medio crusty, pero no la ve. A little bit musty, maybe? A little crusty, a little musty, but it was motherfucking nasty. Yeah, 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 come on, figure. ¿Qué? ¿Qué te va a pasar? ¿Qué pasó Halloween? ¿Qué no tengo? Mira, ni me voy a cortar. Yeah, vamos a close one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sí, sí, ya. Ya no, ya. Ahí está, ya, ya, ya. Exageras. Ok, now we're gonna record the menudo. Estaba bien. ¿Te salió blanco? ¿Cómo te me salió blanco? ¿Estás supuesto que me ¿Eh? No te creas, mucho. Ahí está. ¿Por qué vas a tomar? Mira. Damn. Mira Mario. Wow. Damn. So when I was sirviendo la menudo, I kind of accidentally dropped some menudo on the rabanos. So it doesn't look, oh, and the onion. Fuck it. It doesn't look perfecto, but it comes from the motherfucking corazón. Wow, wow, Mira que chulada, bitch. It's fine, leave it acá. No. I just cut you off. Since I bro broke the damn tripod. No, the fucking tripod broke itself. Estaba ahí de pendejo, so now I'm like trying to do my own angles. So anyways, I put this, I put cilantro, I put onion. So the chilito, what you do is you get it like this. And then you get the tip. Maybe I can't do it. And you're supposed to cut it little pieces, right? And you get the semillas y eso es lo que pica. We have some fucking scissors. I mean, there's easier ways to do this, but this is like the way se mira más sabroso. No es que no tengo really good motor skills. But Mario doesn't, he doesn't like to get dirty. That's fucking stupid, no? He doesn't like to get dirty, but he tiene pinche culo todo cagado. So I have this thing in the bathroom. It washes your ass. I mean, I don't have the good one. This one was like the cheap one from Walmart. It helps a little, but it doesn't really wash my ass. Oh shit. It doesn't really wash my ass like it should. Like, anyways, then Mario, he loves it because since he loves to have his butt, um, como se dice? His butt clean. Luego dice, bye gorda, I'll be back. I'm gonna go clean my butt. Hey, de seguro está ahí. much pressure, I wish it did. No, no tiene, pinche chingadera. Anyways, you guys get the point. It's supposed to be like little fucking pieces. And yeah, and it, that's how it looks really fucking good. Check como quieras. Echale chile de árbol, chile de este, chile de otro. Pero. Ahora vamos a echar limón. El limoncito verde para esto. Because Mario loves his lemon. Can I fucking squeeze? Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, motherfuckers. Ya tengo una pinche hambre de aquellas. I just want to eat. Favorite part is like the epazote and the fat part, like the fatty part of the, como se dice, menudo, like the one that's thick, thick, like the thick bitch. Mm, mm, mm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for it, fuck it. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a piece of, ah, si, sí, mira. Mm. Bro, when it doesn't smell or nothing, that's what I love about menudo when it's good. No smelly smell, smell. Mm. I'm even eating my hair. 
Mm. Si quieres que pique para que te pique el culo, nomás echar un chingo de chile. I'm cool. I like it regular. I'm so fucking boring. And then the harmony when it's like the one that you boil because the one in the can is good, but it's so bland. And I eat the little thingies, I don't care. Mm. You can taste the oregano. So good. And get your tortilla. I can't roll it like, like really little. I like to dip it a little bit. My mouth doesn't open as much right now because I fell off the bed. The first time I gave myself a black eye, but the second time I hit myself like right here and right here. So my jaw hurts. También ahí cuando estoy mamando la estoy. Ay, me duele. Fallando, cabrona. Mmm, le pasó te. Some people take it up. I like how it tastes personally. I don't drink beer anymore. But it's a motherfucking special occasion. Happy motherfucking birthday to me. That menudo was fucking fire. <sighs> Cheers to life. <coughs> Cheers to, you know, wiping your ass again. Wiping my ass again. I've been doing that, putting my underwear up. I've been doing the damn thing. We got this. Peace and motherfucking love. Anyways, shout out to all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers. Peace and motherfucking love. Ya está cerrada con tres candados. Y remachada la puerta negra. Porque tus padres están celosos y tienen miedo que yo te quiera. Mandy. Madre y padre, vas a vas dejar, a dejar de pronto de quererme. quererme. Pero la puerta ni cien candados van a poder a mi de tenerme pero la puerta no es la culpable que tú por dentro estés llorando tú a mí me quieres y yo te quiero la puerta negra sale sobrando fuck la puerta negra